Guys, how are you doing? I'm having Neil. Actually, not coming to you from the garage, but coming to you from the foyer. And uh, these are all the masks I've been doing in the last couple of weeks. These sort of one-off zombies. Uh, there's one more in the other room, but I have not printed a stand for him yet. And that's actually what I was going to make this video about because I have been printing these stands. Um, this one I painted. This was the first one. And there's one over here that's painted. Uh, just kind of weathered and, you know, the bones have been aged. When they come out of the printer, they look like this. So they need a little bit of extra work. Um, but uh, yeah, I got a new 3D printer. It's a filament printer called a bamboo. And I'll show you that really quick. And my wife's gonna kill me looking at all this stuff. This is our dining room table, y'all. <laughs> but the beautiful thing about this printer is it prints in color. And uh, you can print up to 16 colors. This one has the, um, just the one, uh, four color AMS, but you can buy three more and daisy chain them for a total of 16 colors, which is crazy. Um, but this thing is insanely fast and it prints like you cannot imagine. It has been printing nonstop since I bought it. Um, I built those stands literally almost immediately after I got this thing and I printed a prototype, which was this. Uh, this one came out small. And I made some changes um, to it, but just uh, just an amazing printer. Uh, so I print the I have to print them in pieces. So uh, on the original ones or the the final ones, you have to print it in pieces. So this stand, the bottom piece, is one piece. The black and the red prints together, and then there's some white lettering on the back side over there. That all prints as one piece. The hand prints as a separate piece. The piece here that goes in, well, it's pressure fit, but this piece here, here, this one's painted, you can see it better. Um, this piece here is printed separately, but also in color. So there's three colors on this one, black, red, and white. And then I go back and paint the gold in and then weather it a little bit. Um, same thing with the, the, the rock. I go back and I'll weather this rock so that it stands out from the hand and then also, you know, weather those bones. And then the final piece of the puzzle is the upright, which that's a small version of it, but uh, I print an upright. I print a spacer um, because I know that some people have different sized um, shelves, heights. And so, for example, this guy has a spacer in it. She does not, but uh, it just depends on the construction of the mask and that kind of thing. So um, I'm printing spacers for these as well so that at Mask Fest, if somebody goes, oh, I really want them to be, you know, stand way up, then you can buy a spacer and you can get your mask to be a little bit taller. Or if you want to uh, have a lower mask, then you don't use the spacer. Uh, and then the other thing that is in here, in addition to that upright, <laughs> is, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Hold on. <laughs> is that. So there's your spacer. It goes into this piece here, but rather than ending in a point like that, I'm spreading out um, some of that tension at the top of the head so that you don't get um, as much mask sag as you would with this. Because if you've ever put a mask on something like this, eventually you'll end up with a a dimple in the top of your mask. So hopefully this will prevent it. And then in the, this guy's case, oh, my dog is very sad. I put a, a, another sort of uh, plastic spacer at the top to distribute that, uh, that tension. But um, the way that this works is you have your stand, you have your spacer, and then you have that. And then again, you don't have to run it with a spacer. You could run it just from here with that upright, or if for some reason it was too much, you could actually come back and you could trim this down. Um, this piece, you could cut it, and then that would drop it however far you wanted to, and you could still retain that piece at the top. So anyway, there you go. 
uh, just uh, working on these and maybe I'll try to do something else this weekend. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, but uh, I definitely need to finish painting these stands because I've been printing them all week. And uh, there you go. All right. Hope everybody's having a good Friday night and uh, hope everybody has a nice weekend. Talk to you soon.